what is everybody up to? I know it's been a while here since I've did a video. Um, first off, I got a couple other videos I'm hoping to get out this week. Um, one is on a very large church that we are actually mowing this year. Um, and then I've got something new that I'm going to be picking up. Should be by the end of the week here. So keep your eyes out for a video on that. I'm actually going to do kind of a comparison between what I've got now and what the new one's going to be. So anyhow, I want to show you this yard here real quick. I've actually, this is a customer I mow for up on the north side here, um, Fisher's area. And as you can see in this yard, well, first off, I'll just give you a good idea how big this yard is. Everything that I'm showing you here, up to the other side of this house over here, um, about eight foot off the side of that house, is a yard that goes over that way also. And then all of this is all one yard <laughs> so and I'm actually kind of standing well I'll show you here there's the house here so I mean I'm in the yard but not too far in so I mean everything you see out here is what we've been mowing but what I wanted to talk about I've had more and more customers that are going for the not so normal look and when I say that, I mean the straight lines or the diagonal. I've got more and more customers that are liking the look of this. I don't know what to call it. I kind of like it myself. It's something different. It's not the everyday average straight line or diagonal in a yard. This actually runs and curves. I just follow the wood line here. And then it ends up giving me this design where it swoops around and curves and everything but well, that is one more and more people are liking this look and like i said i wasn't for sure when i first started doing them people were saying they wanted a different look and i was like okay we'll give it a shot we'll see if they like them or not and then you can still see the previous cut from the week before in it here where everything, well, you can kind of faintly see it, where everything kind of comes out and curves around that way. Um, it does give it a totally different look to the yard. I mean, that was the previous cut, and then the angles you see this time is the current week's cut here, so. But this is what it's doing. And like I said, this is what I was talking about on this side here. Goes down, splits out right through here, and then runs down. As you can see the line here. So, pretty good size yard. Um, like I said, we got a big church that we're going to be doing later on this week. I'm going to get some footage on that one this time. Finally, I'm doing this as a subcontractor for a guy. So, had to get the approval from the church to be able to do video out there they said they didn't mind and then I wanted to check and make sure with the contractor it's a buddy of mine that I'm actually doing it for he is a lawn care company but he's gotten out of the lawn care side of it and all he's doing now is the hardscapes and mulch and stuff he didn't do any mowing anymore so he does fertilizer and stuff of that nature but he got out of the mowing side of it but he had these contracts he wanted to keep them for the the mulch and the fertilizer and the snow removal and stuff like that so i went ahead and took over the contracts for the mowing side of it but anyhow let me know what you think of a yard design that's not the so much normal i guess you'd call it uh, you see so many yards out there that are just straight line or diagonal cut you don't see too many of them that have an actual design to them, so to speak. So, anyhow, we're gonna go ahead. I gotta start weed eating on this property, so um, we'll get that. Uh, we'll get some more mowing footage today, and we'll see if I can find another yard. Um, I don't do this this type of a cut on the smaller yards just because there's not enough area to actually make a design to it. So, 
but we'll see what else we come up with today if not we'll just do a regular mowing um, I did want to say something I mean I've seen that's why I've kind of cut back on the videos I realize I do still have subscribers and I appreciate all you guys for subscribing and and watching um, too many channels out there all about the drama and that's the farthest from what my channel is about I'm just out here to mow like this yard here and I'll show you stuff like this I mean we mow that's what we do I'm not about all the drama we just like to mow grass I enjoy doing it looks like this I mean there it's kind of a cool look let me know what you think but that is why I kind of just got to the point where I was done with the video um, too much drama I'm not part of it I'm not gonna be part of it so um, people that are watching my channel are watching me mow or it's a video like what I'm doing here where it's just a different look to a yard let me know what you think like I said I've had more customers asking about it so anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and weed eat this one and we will be back little video there for the day that yeah, allergy is bad so <laughs> sound kind of weird but anyhow um, what I was talking about something new here uh, is confirmed I pick it up on Friday now so we'll get that picked up hopefully I'll get the video together on that over the weekend um, like I said I'm doing a comparison between two different items here so two different things so you guys will see that one um, like I was saying earlier in the video, I mean, I've seen it over the last year where there's so much drama to the lawn care com the community itself on YouTube. Everybody wants drama, wants drama, wants drama. Well, my channel's not about the drama. We mow, and that's what my videos are about. I could care less about any of the other stuff. Kind of lost interest in making videos there for a while because it seems like everybody wants the drama. Well, that's not what I do. So... Um, like I said, I kind of got a little frustrated there, but then I realized I do have, uh, for me, quite a few subscribers that are watching my videos because of what they are. So, kind of lost it there for a little bit, um, getting back into it, but it just, like I said, hopefully, um, 
I'll get back into doing a few more videos here. So, but like I was saying, um, I just kind of got a little frustrated there with it for a while. And it's like, why? Well, it's not worth it. But I'll keep on making videos. So, and then we got the big church coming up on, should be Thursday this week. So, um, we'll get some video there. You guys can actually see how big this place is. It is roughly about about nine acres total is what it is i mean there's three different lots to this place so um one of the lots well there's it's three lots but on those three lots uh one lot is just an empty wooded lot that the church itself has not developed yet hasn't built on or anything like that but we still have to maintain the grass which gets cut every other week out there so and then one of the other lots has a retention pond on it and that pond uh, gets cut every other week out there but the rest of the property as far as their main lot and then uh, their overflow parking lot gets mowed every week out there so but anyhow hopefully we'll get that video um, I'll get some video on that this week and then get that out over the weekend or something here hopefully so anyhow hope everybody enjoyed it uh, we'll get back to doing a few more videos here so but we're going to go ahead and get out of here and we will see you all in the next video thanks for watching